Hey everyone, this is going to be a tutorial on how to download the Android SDK for Unity. First of all, what you want to do is you want to open up the Unity Hub and navigate over to the Installs tab. In here, you want to download a version of Unity that is, 20, that is 2019 or higher. Here, I'm going to download a version of Unity that is, 20, that is 2019. And when you click on Download, and you want to make sure that you have Android Build Support and Android SDK and NDK tools selected. With those selected, you can then click on next, click that you agree, and the download will begin. Alright, when the download's finished, either open up a new Unity project or open up your existing project that you want to use with the new version. Now what we want to do is we want to do two things. Let's first of all change our build platform from PC, Mac, and Linux standalone over to Android. So to do that, let's go to File build settings and let's switch over to the Android build platform so click on Android here and then we want to click on the switch platform button down at the bottom of the window this may take time depending on how large your project is if it's an empty project then it shouldn't take too long but if you do have quite a few assets um, it can take some time so, once that's done, we can exit out of the build settings window, and what we want to do now is check to see whether or not the SDK is installed. So to do that, let's go up to Edit, and down to Preferences here. Once we open this, click on External Tools, and we should see that we have the JDK installed with Unity ticked, we have Android SDK, Android NDK, and the Gradle installed with Unity ticked as well. That means that we have our SDK installed and we're ready to publish to Android. To build to your Android device, make sure that you have your device plugged into your computer. And then what you want to do is in your Unity project, again, making sure that the platform is on Android, go to the build settings menu in file, build settings, and click on the build and run button down here. This will prompt you to save your APK at a certain location and when you save it there and click save it will begin the build and when that's complete it should then launch onto your device. Make sure that you do click the build and run button and not just the build button otherwise it won't launch on your device.